Hello and welcome to MM Design or mm, Design. My name is Maria and today I'm going to be talking about my favorite trends that are happening this spring summer 2023 or maybe just like more wearable trends that I see myself wearing and why. I have a friend here. I'm not sure if he's going to be back for more videos or not. Just trying out something new. Anyways, the previous video I released was all of the trends that I'm not liking and I will be avoiding this season and this time around it's all the ones that I'm really hoping to get into or continue wearing. Anyways, let's get started. <laughs> so the first trend that I want to talk about, the hooded trends, kind of not always in like a hoodie format but more like in elegant long dresses format. I feel like it's so mysterious, so beautiful having that silhouette continuing on to the head as well and uh, yeah I just really really enjoy how all the looks in Yves Saint Laurent. So elegant, so classy, I just love it. Also love the contrast in the Versace show of art kind of doing the y2k but with a little twist and i love the both takes on it and i would really love to try something like that as well i'll need to figure out what i can do with my hair though but i feel like it's such a cool trend and a lot of people would be able to pull this off whether you're just an average girl or maybe you do need to have your hair covered for religious purposes i feel like this trend Trend can be for anybody and that is amazing. I'm not really into the balaclava sleeve thing but you know if you like it you like it. I'm more into those like really long silhouettes. The next one would be sleeveless shirts like something instead of a basic white tee. I think the basic white tee is very outdated now. There is much more of this uh, like a tank top with a wide straps something like a wife beater shirt it can be in any color but like white would be the new staple of the closet and that's for sure and it can be worn dressed up or dressed down it just completely up to you very comfortable easy to hide the straps of the bra as well so if you need extra support it's there for you and think about your size your frame if you're on a larger size go for a wider strap if you're on a smaller side like a petite small tiny shoulders then the spaghetti strap would work for you all right the next trend i am loving but i don't know for spring summer are the super long coats like all the way to the ground they create so much drama and i i, I love them like so much <laughs> I feel like if you were to get this kind of a coat, it would never go out of style. It's very long lasting. It's kind of classical and it's a statement maker for sure. The only thing you just need to be careful about is not getting it wet. Uh, but just think about the shoes you're wearing. Maybe you will need to wear a little bit of a higher heel when it's raining and pay extra attention to the stairs. Yves Saint Laurent had a lot of really ridiculously long coats, very beautiful silhouettes. It just creates this one like streaming line that you look ridiculously tall. If you're super tall, maybe this trend would be really hard for you to find for one. Uh, and if you don't want to stand out in a crowd to be like even extra tall looking, then maybe it's not for you. I I'm getting any inches I can like I'm pretty tall I'm five nine and my husband is six foot eight so compared to him on the photos I look tiny so I want to be taller at least to look taller <laughs> Okay, so the next one is regarding dresses, and I am really liking the slip dresses. They're a little bit different from the classical versions. They might have a different cut. They may be like come as a set of two. I am really enjoying the different ways that they're being styled, and I would love to have something like this in my closet. I feel like because the fabric is so silky and flowing, it just hugs the curves so well. All right, let's move on to the pants and skirt trend. Okay, so this is 
an interesting trend for me. I feel like there's so much possibility in styling that we don't really need anything new in our closet. We can already just take what we have and try something out. Just put a skirt over those jeans, you know what I mean? So I really like the, the fact that we can experiment more. If you go in like the one color, it would make your look very cohesive and more of a longer line. So there's like no abruptions anywhere. Another thing that I like is just because I'm a chafer, you guys, and I still need to wear some kind of either shorts underneath my skirt or in this case, I could actually just wear a pair of pants and that will eliminate my painful, painful thigh rubbing situation that is there. So I really like it too. And it can be either like a, a skirt that is over the pants or maybe a little dress. And it can be either like both of them being oversized or having like an oversized pant with something a little bit more slimming. It could go really well with a slip dress that I've mentioned. Just having maybe like a silky pant underneath that something like we see in Fendi here. We also have kind of like a Bermuda short moment with an overskirt. I really like this moment too. There's lots of drama. I just love how it looks. And if you're kind of conscious about how your legs appear, you can always kind of hide a little bit, but then when it's out sunny, you're like, you can show off a little bit of leg and get a little bit sunshine on there. <laughs> All right, next trend that I am loving are the maxi skirts and maxi maxi dresses. We have a lot of them on the runways and they're like from different kind of material as well. I love the maxi dresses. They look so beautiful, so elogating. We also have just maxi skirts depending on a style. We have them kind of in a mermaid style, maybe having them a little bit low on the lower rise, depending on your body, of course, you might want to go for something more of a high rise instead, like I am. You can also go for a high slit if it's a little bit too restricting for you. I really like it, like, uh, for instance, instead of like a mini or micro skirt, just have a slit that goes up the leg to where a mini skirt would end, if you know what I mean. So you're still pretty covered but then you still have that sexy pop-up leg moment something like this here in Rick Owens the dresses aren't too fitted and you have that slit on the leg it looks very beautiful we also have a few of the more of a larger slits on the runways as well one of the things that I really like seeing here are the kind of denim or pant skirts that made out of pants so skirts that that seemed as if there were pants previously and i feel like any of us could do this trend by just making alterations to our own closet like i've already turned two pants into skirts uh, but i really like the flexibility of that that and the fact that you can reuse something and create something new that you're going to be wearing like for instance i would have never worn either of those pairs that i remade and I got some extra wears out of it and now I'm maybe you will be able to sell it just because it's really trending at the moment. So you can see for instance here in Balenciaga though I think they just took like two pairs of pants and just made a skirt out of it. If you're enjoying this content so far and you'd like to support me and my page all you need to do is like this video give me a little nice comment down below and if you're not already subscribed please do so. All right thank you is a very well wearable trend would be the denim trend and having like denim on denim, usually the same shade of denim. Uh, I really like it, it's very easy to style. You don't need to be a genius to do it. So it's kind of like this go-to thing if you don't know what to wear for just a casual day, just wear denim on denim. It's so easy, you can do it in your sleep unless it's very dark and you can't find your denim that matches. Anyways, I really like it. I wear it quite often together. And yes, all right, moving on. As far as the pants go, I do prefer to have a wider pant at the moment. 
uh, I feel like they're super comfortable. They have this freedom. There's air that goes through them. But I have two pairs of plus pants that are kind of identical, just they're different colors. And I have fallen three times in them. Three times. I'm not a clumsy person, I promise you. I used to be a dancer, so I'm pretty in line with how my body moves. But when it comes to just functioning in the world, I tripped once going kind of up the hill. My shoe got caught onto the pant leg and I kind of like fell forward but it wasn't too bad it was on the hill so the, the ground was close to me when I was going up it and the second time I fell going up the stairs with kind of the same situation and my pants ripped so I need to get them fixed anyways and finally I tripped really recently while trying to cross the road and I tripped hard I like rolled over I had woven bag basket and everything spilled out of it and I was like there in the middle of the road trying to collect all of my things and like I'm I never swear and that day I swore <laughs> anyways so make sure that you are comfortable with the wideness of the leg don't go for like too wide pants uh, we also see a lot of kind of utilitarian pants as well with maybe like pockets that create that volume they might be a little bit more manageable but other than that i really like the utilitarian trend not only in pants but in the jackets as well there's pockets it looks really cool and not too much on the nose when the trend will pass it's not gonna be like oh, you're wearing utilitarian pants it was so 2023 <laughs> you know what i mean it, they're kind of like neutral and practical i would even say how often could you say that fashion is practical it, it is very unlikely pairing yes there is a little bit of a y2k trend there with the pockets everywhere but I'm okay with that. Maybe if it's on a lower rise, I would switch it up to a high rise just for my body type. I would like to accentuate my waistline to just to balance everything out, just to show that I'm not a sack of potatoes. I would say that the lower rise would go well with anybody who have really long legs and short torso just to even the body out and it, it happens sometimes the high rise just does not look good on everybody i also really like how the utilitarian trend is put in the blue marine it is very white decay don't don't get me wrong but i love how it's on the skirts as well as on the little bralette there and of course you can even buy the placement of pockets you can accentuate certain parts or maybe your reverse triangle and you have pockets on the hip line then it's gonna even it out you know you're gonna have a little bit more of the shape on the bottom rather than the top and the other way around if you are a little bit heavy on the bottom you can do the utilitarian jacket or maybe a top with pockets to add that little bit of extra volume all right next one up are blazers and we do see an accent on the waistline having dramatic hips in some of the trends that i've covered in the full trend report here is much more wearable trend where we have blazers that are a little bit cinched in at the waistline having maybe just a little bit of an extra pump on the hip line depending once again on your situation you might like that you might want to stay away from it but i know for sure that i don't have enough of the volume in the hip area whenever i'm wearing blazers so it might help me out i really also enjoy the fact that there are very oversized kind of boyfriend style blazers on the runways i love them still and i love the fact that they are out there as i'm a little bit on a bigger side like mid to big i do love to have like my arms covered my back covered uh, because it's voluminous i don't feel like i'm an overstuffed sausage i just really really enjoy this oversized blazer trend and not only that um i also love the cropped one like i'm wearing right now i cropped it myself 
I got this blazer from the men's section at a thrift store, a second-hand store, you name it, and I just cropped it and kind of um, hemmed the edge of it, and I love it. Actually, this outfit got me like two compliments today. That means that I'm doing something right. I really love the blazers, the oversized blazer over like maybe something very feminine or just being paired with like a really classical pair of pants and maybe like a little bralette underneath just on top of like this very nice dress. Yeah, you name it. I love it. Depending on your features, definitely, you might want to go for it or stay away from. Like, I feel if you're very skinny in your face, then because people assume that you'll be like very small underneath the blazer as well, I feel like that's what I love about it. But anyways, all right, the next trend that I really like are the cutouts and i love them for several reasons so first of all you can bring attention to a certain body part that you need to be you know the attention brought to with like a visual interest visual volume if you'd say or taking away from so it can add volume or subtract like a negative space kind of a situation uh, it can also be very interesting in like correcting a figure in some way for instance if you are heavier on the bottom if you have some kind of interesting cutout situation at the top the eye goes up and it kind of balances itself out if you also like to have kind of like an hourglass shape but you're pretty rectangular having those open sides really gives the illusion of an hourglass shape we also have some really interesting symmetrical cuts in Dion Lee here they're super cool looking and I feel like this is very fresh Thing. We see these uh, cutouts in many really elegant dresses as well as something a little bit more sporty. So it just, you need to figure out your body type, your body shape and where you would need to bring attention to and what areas to kind of like leave alone, if you know what I mean. And some of these dresses have like the gathering of fabric, which would be great if it's like in the tummy area to hide any underwear lines or maybe like a food baby pouch there. I also like when there's like bralettes and they have like extra ties around. Deconstructed trend. I actually put it under the trends I would be staying away from, but it's kind of like different <laughs> all right the trend that i was saying to stay away from are kind of like really worn out clothes that have holes that are kind of look like as if you just did it yourself you can still do them but don't buy them new i would suggest using the things that you already have to make them this like if you're not wearing those items just kind of like repurpose them and create something new what i'm saying is having for instance like a shirt out of a shirt like here it would be a little bit challenging for you to do it yourself i'm talking about alexander mcqueen garments looking like they were made from maybe like a suit into a dress or like a dress that's being cut up but it there's so much work that goes into there that is just unbelievably difficult for you to do the same like deconstruction trend in rock as well like you can see that it's deconstructed but it is like tailored deconstruction it's not just like a messy pile of stuff if you know what i mean all right next one would be the shoe trend that i like for the spring summer and those are these trappy shoes we see them quite a lot throughout the runways they're a very neutral shoe that will last you a long time because like they're so minimalistic that like if it goes on to future then people will not notice that it was like this year you know whenever there's something that is not like a major crazy trend of the year people won't even recognize that it was from a certain year back so these shoes are 
pretty easy to style with pretty much anything. You can wear them dressed up or dressed down, doesn't really matter. Uh, the straps can be really different. So as long as it's not super square toe, because the square toe will definitely give away the, tr the crazy trend of uh, 2019. <laughs> as well as the song, kind of a shoe style on a strappy side where we have maybe like the big toe being utilized in order to keep the shoe in place or having kind of just the thong flip-flop as well. I really like the Fendi high heel versions of those just because it has kind of that angular almost like a V line that kind of makes the eye continue on really love the YSL shoes as well they look very classy um, and yeah so anything that has kind of the toe part section there yes all right next one up are the really interesting creative heels I feel like this strand is really cool it's not on the nose and if you have those shoes, there will, there will be just statement shoes in your closet. Nobody's gonna be like, oh, you got these from that here. Nobody will care because they're so cool. <laughs> Anyways, the next one would be the trend for accessories and they're like wire trend. So we have this kind of just a silver type metal that is bent into any kind of shape like maybe a bracelet maybe earrings belts accessories you name it i really like it it's something unique and as far as the beauty trends i'm gonna go for something a little bit more natural something that i've been trying to do with my face for the videos something kind of like makeup no makeup looks and i am not cutting my hair no like should i should i cut it once i hit 100,000 subscribers it's a very long time to go maybe i shouldn't cut it until then and then it's gonna be like up to my ankles <laughs> and then i can cut it back to my butt comment down below <laughs> anyways thank you very much for watching this video to the end let me know what would be the things that you would like to implement in the spring summer 2023 i know it's already summer almost almost i was late i know i'm sorry but it's better to be later than never is that the saying anyways i'm gonna be going now running and starting to do research for the fall winter wish me luck hopefully i'll get something together by the next week but no promises I'm a busy girl lately. If you enjoyed the video and like to support me, all you need to do is hit that like button, hit the comment section, do some commenting there. If you're not already, please subscribe as it kind of motivates me to continue. What my hope is to reach 50,000 subscribers this year and that will kind of show me that I'm on the right path. <laughs> Hopefully 100,000 next year. If you'd like to see more of my personal style, what I wear from day to day, then check out my Instagram page. You can message me there. I'm there quite often, a little bit of an Instagramaholic. If you want to have a deeper dive into different aspects of fashion, of like what's in right now, then I encourage you to check out my trend report videos that are going to be listed down below. And you can just watch the entire thing too. I don't mind. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of the day and yeah, stay classy. Bye.